Today I thought I'd do a really short little haul of the stuff I had to purchase so that we can start wiring the beachside bungalow. Stay tuned and see what all of this is. Alright, so this portion I actually filmed an unboxing of and then I decided to start over. I had missed, somehow missed two items in my box when I filmed that. And it the quality was not good. There was somebody in my parking lot revving their engine right outside my window, so it was loud. But if you caught my blog post a couple of weeks ago, I had to take a time off for a bit from the beachside bungalow because when I went to test my stuff I had for wiring it, I realized that what I had wasn't working. One of my pieces was not working, at least one, and I couldn't tell what I, what was wrong. So I ordered everything I needed to finish that and a couple of other things, um, most of which you'll see here. Um, but I couldn't get it all in one place, so there's another order coming. Hopefully it will be here soon and I can include it in this haul. The first thing I bought, the first thing here randomly, is a junction splice. And it doesn't look like much. It's right here. It's put onto some foam to keep it safe. This is what connects our tape wire system to our lead-in wire for our transformer. I also bought a new transformer because, like I said, I don't know if the transformer I had was working or not. Um, but this is a nice new one. It is a 16, it'll help power up to 16 light bulbs and it's a 12 volt. Uh, it's it's not really showing you much. There will be pictures in the blog post of all of this stuff. I got a new test probe because once again I don't know if my test probe was working the other day or not. And I got a front porch light now. And there'll be a picture of this on the uh, blog post where you can see it better. It's just a cute little very simple carriage light type front porch light. I actually really wanted to get a different one but everywhere I looked was sold out of that one. I saw one that was a little bigger and was white instead of black. And I'm still debating whether I'm going to paint this one white to fit better with the dollhouse or leave it black. So I haven't decided and I don't know if I'll have decided by the time this video goes up. The last thing in this order that I'm going to show you today is a container of wallpaper gel. Um, I don't have anything to put the wallpapers up in the dollhouse when I get to that point, so I thought I would try this. And Hobby Builder Supply had a decent price on it, so I got this. I'm not sure if this is going to... I'm hoping it covers, covers the whole thing, but we will find out. So, that's what I got in this portion, and coming up will be my other order. Yay, the final piece I needed to do the wiring came. This is my transformer lead-in cable. Um, I ended up ordering this with an order from Hobby Lobby because Hobby Builder Supply was out when I was on their website to order. So this is what this looks like. If I can get it unwrapped. You have to be smarter than the twist tie. Let me turn the camera off and I'll get this unwound. All right, finally got that undone. Am I the only one that bites with twist ties? I can never get them undone. So this end screws onto the transformer right here. I'll do that later. And then this end goes into the junction splice that I showed you earlier in the video. So now that I've got all this, we can start wiping the dollhouse. So I hope you enjoyed this little mini haul that I did. Uh, when we get to the wiring, I will talk to you more about what each piece does. But thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you know when I've uploaded a new video. If you like the video, push that like button and tell your friends about the channel so that we can grow the channel and get more viewers. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.